central bank in the U.S. and Europe have taken an unchanged stance in their meetings. What does that tell you about growth and currency impact on both economies? Well, good morning, Kathy. Look, I think a couple of things. First off, we've got historically low interest rates. That's been over the last, you know, three to five years now. We've been priming the pump. We look at, you know, strong, we want strong export numbers, but as far as uh, Europe's concerned, it's a very, very weak uh, domestic economy over there. As far as their export market, you've got large unemployment numbers and uh, with historic lows of, you know, three and 500, 300 to 500 years as far as Germany, France, uh, and of course the UK, it's very, very weak as far as what's on the horizon. America certainly, uh, job shedding was a, a favourable uh, pastime to try and get you know economic growth in a lot of these companies, and uh, we're feeling those sort of pains also in Australia. So at the moment, I think you're going to see uh, a continuation as far as QE for the foreseeable future. What is your take on Chinese companies' earnings so far? Well, a deceleration across the, all of the bricks, and you know that's very. We've had some great numbers, you know, going back over the last you know 15 to 20 years, and now uh, it just seems to be a little bit further, more well, more of a slowdown uh, right across from Brazil, Russia, India, and China. And uh, those Chinese numbers, they've certainly got three and a half billion uh, as far as accumulated cash, and uh, I think you're going to see. Uh, a little bit more of a weakening across that domestic economy in China. So they need strong growth externally to export and uh, they're just, Europe's just not a player at the moment. They, they need employment over there. So it's certainly, it's very, very tough. Will this round in the earnings season be as bad as it gets or can it get worse in the coming quarters? I, I would say you're probably in that you're near the bottom, though it's very hard to forecast out. You know, 12 to 18 months. Uh, you need demand. You need a solid demand picture, and uh, you know that's why you, you're seeing a concerted effort across all of the G20 to uh, stimulate economies. You know, QE, lowering of rates, and uh, you know, strong de well to try and get a stronger demand picture. But at the moment, uh, it seems to be fairly weak. Unemployment numbers are harrowing in, in Europe, and uh, we need you know, stronger numbers there to create demand.